Welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, where I teach beautiful, soulful women just like you, learn how to nourish and heal your body, mind, and soul. The way that I do that is through the power of the delicious goodness called self-love and angel guidance. Today's episode is Q&A tea time. I just started drinking my cup of peppermint tea here. And today I thought I'd take the opportunity to answer one of your questions from a beautiful MK Love fan. So today's question comes from Justin and he asks, what does surrender mean? How do we surrender completely? How is it possible to achieve this? And how do we fully accept present circumstances and release our inner storms or resistance? And what I really love about this is that there's so many layers in which he has asked, which is beautiful. And then um, when you fill out the form on my website, the last question I ask you is, what is your intuition telling you to do? And this is what Justin wrote. He said, my intuition is telling me to ask Mel. She can help. I thought that was so cool. So Justin, thank you so much for taking the time to ask a question. And I cannot wait to answer it for you. Now, the first question says, what does surrender mean? Surrender means trusting in the universe and allowing the divine to lead you to your highest good. We sometimes get fixated in our heads that things have to look a certain way. And when they don't look the way that we were like, but that's what I wanted it to be, we get really upset. And it can be a blessing in disguise. I think that's probably the best way to put it. It's that when you tap into your intuition and you listen to your highest good and your angels and the divine or whatever you wanna call it, it will always lead you to exactly where you need to be. Sometimes during the process of surrender, it's just saying, it's like universe, this was exactly what I would like to happen. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I know deep down that you are going to allow this to unfold. Also, I need to add that besides trusting is that you need to release your blockages around it because when there's resistance, that's when you're not surrendering to the process and you're not allowing the universe to work with and through you. So think of it as if you're um, on a raft and you're just about to go down some rapids. If you're surrendering, think of it as like trying to paddle upstream in your raft and you're getting tired and you're getting exhausted and you're getting frustrated and you're like, I've had enough and yeah. What you need to do is when you surrender is literally just allow the current to guide you. Because when it guides you, things happen super flippin' fast. Like, I mean super fast. Let me give you an example. For instance, this new house that I'm in, I'll be able to um, show you more of this in my um, success story update. And this house here, um, Peter actually found on Airbnb, and he messaged the owners and was like, we, oh, he had stayed in this place years ago. And he's like, I really love your place. Would you be, cons um, would you consider a long-term lease agreement? And they were like, sure. And we came to see it. I loved it. I was like, dude, the ceilings are flipping high. There is so much storage and it's a studio. And I love that it's small, but it's not really small. It's considered small by living in like a one bedroom house or whatever. Anyways, so the process of surrendering for this is I knew that we we're going to find the great, a great house. Why? Because I was trusting the universe and I knew that it would always look after me because I released my blockages to it. I've got a whole playlist on release blockages. The three top videos I actually recommend within that series are the ones with the three notebooks on the thumbnails because I teach you about three different letter writing techniques, which would totally help you out, Justin. So watch that one. Um, and I knew that we were just gonna find this house. I didn't know how, which is the process of like using the law of attraction. It's like, if you just stay positive and you are constantly doing your self love practices and you're doing the things that make you feel truly good, it's like the universe will work with you quicker. This, so this was the first house we looked at. We paid the deposit um, within two weeks of um, seeing it and then we moved in like a month later. That was it, you know? There was no hassle, it was, it was stress-free and it was easy because I trusted the universe and I knew that 
that my angels were guiding me and I knew all I needed to do was to stay positive. I didn't know how it was gonna work out. I didn't know if this was gonna be the house, but I wasn't going, I have to live in this house because this house is 200 meters from the beach and I need to go to the beach because I have to have an unblocked root chakra because I get out of alignment, blah, 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 you know? I just knew that the house was gonna be amazing. And so trusting, releasing blockages and staying positive is what you need in order to surrender. Um, how do we surrender completely? It's just having faith, because you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Um, how is it possible to achieve it? It's just, you just have this inner knowing that everything is going to work out. And I'm saying that when situations are easy, like to find a house, it's easy. Say for instance, if someone was sick in your family, um, or you have a friend that's not doing too well, if you are feeling resistance against it and you're like, oh my God, this is not going to go well and I don't know what to do. It's like, all you can do is stay positive and just visualize that person getting better. And you know, every time you see them, you're just thinking high vibrational thoughts around them. And sometimes you're going to slip and that's okay. And if things aren't going well, then sometimes you need to feel that emotion and be like, why is this coming up and why is this affecting me? And maybe you need to write down your feelings or maybe you need to go into meditation you need to connect back with your higher self. So doing your self-love practices. And I think surrendering can be difficult when there are a lot of blockages, can be super easy if you're like, you know, whatever will be, will be, you know, the universe will totally look after me. And I feel like releasing blockages is massive. It is absolutely massive. It's one of the things that is a truly beautiful experience, but when things go bad, it's okay to feel sad. And it's okay that if something didn't go right, that you don't feel good about it. It's fine, as long as you feel that emotion and that pain for a little bit, but you don't like unpack yourself and you don't stay there. Hold on, I'm just seeing what else is coming up. I think I basically summarized it. Trust the process that whatever is happening is divinely orchestrated. Even if you were like, oh my God, Mel, like I'm literally homeless like right now. How can you say this is divinely orchestrated? So the universe is trying to teach you a lesson. You may not see it in the moment, but you may see it in hindsight. Do your self-love practices. Do whatever you can that makes you feel like the most beautiful person in the whole wide world. And whenever negative thoughts come up, you have literally 17 seconds to change that thought or that vibration into the universe. Justin, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to submit a question. To all my other beautiful MK Love fam, if you have a question that you would love for me to answer in another episode of Q&A Tea Time, jump on over to my website, melaniekatelove.com forward slash questions, and I will be able to read your beautiful questions and I will do my best to answer every single one. Thank you so much, my love, for taking the time to watch this video. Comment below and let me know what have you had to surrender to recently. I would love to hear from you. And as always, if you are commenting within the first hour, I'll be writing back to you as soon as possible. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will see you next episode. Bye, my loves. Thank you.